Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D, and we are back playing Dead Dark Souls. Dark Souls, it's not Dead, Dead Space. So it's been a little while since I played Dead Space. You know what I'm trying to say. It's been a little while, um, but if you guys remember, we were headed down here since we drained the lava. So that means that we have access to the bottom place, which is just like a flaming thing. Of, it, it, it's pretty much the underworld. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the H word because, you know, <laughs> it's the first minute. Uh, look at all those demons just standing there wanting to, like, chop me up into little bits. Oh, and what's worse is they have such long range, too, like, of a, like, of, um, oh, what you call it, egg rolling. All right. As you can see, we're going to just move nice and slowly. Come on. Where's your aggro range? It was obviously... I did it once before where I ran up way too close. There we go. And let me tell you, that was a horrible mistake because they all we were aggro. Hey, buddy. Boop. Man. Good thing I got this amazing shield that you can't break through. Uh, I would like to slash you. There we go. Nope. There we go. Slaughter this guy. Alright, we're past the one minute mark. This looks like hell. Literal hell. <laughs> you got your lava everywhere. You got your demons. This is literally where the demons live. Like I said, literal hell. Alright. So yeah, you know, we're just going to take our time, you know, attacking one at a time. How come lava doesn't hurt them? Oh, right up the butt! Boop. Yep. Can't get past my amazing shields. Oh yeah. We did get the Demon's uh, Great Axe, which is actually a pretty good axe. Like, if you're going Strength Build, I think it's actually one of the ones that's up there. Okay, who's next? Oh. Oh, no, not both. Oh, poo. How come you can run through the lava? All right, we're going to have to... Oh, fire damage. Really? What am I going to do with that? Jeez, oh. knocking me over that, aren't you? There we go. Just a little bit of a stamina battle as I'm trying to, you know, outwit two of these guys. Ow! A little bit too late. There you go. Almost like a I need you to throw your shield up by now. There we go. Whoop! Ow, what a dick. Am I, how am I still getting hit? Like, oh, I forgot that my shield does that. See, back in the original, before they like updated the game, the eagle shield actually used to have a hundred percent uh, physical damage block, making it truly the most amazing, powerful shield in the entire game. Sadly, they did reduce it, but I mean, they only reduced it to ninety-five. But still, I feel like it lost the most powerful shield status the moment that, you know, it got nerfed. But, what doesn't get nerfed nowadays? Especially with how whiny the Dark Souls community is, like. I remember, it was just speaking of, um, there's this one, um, in Dark Souls 2 where I just saw this video of this guy just screaming bloody rage because there's a tree in the Force of the Fallen Giant and a person they were trying to attack was hiding behind that tree so that way the person couldn't kill them and they're just screaming about how they need to nerf the tree yeah take that in for a moment nerf a tree how do you nerf a tree like like there's like it's all like it's bad enough that a lot of places in this like already have limited um you know uh cosmetic things in the world like this place for example this is just a large amount of 
Ow! Getting my butt kicked, apparently. Whoop! Whoop! There we go. And that's the last one. Perfect. Take a drink. But yeah, um... Like, there's things, like, and you'd think, Forest of the Fallen Giant. Hmm, what's in a Forest of the Fallen Giant? Could it perhaps be trees? <gasps> Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, man, I got a pretty good laugh at that, though. It's just one, like, really nerf the tree. Like, how about instead of screaming of nerfing thing, you just, what's the saying? Get good? It's just all like, oh, no, someone's got a better piece of gear than you. It's just all like, well, then, either A, use that piece of gear, or shut the up. Because, honestly, it's like, I don't care about your feelings. It's all like, if I want n nicely powerful stuff, I will use nicely powerful stuff. If it gives me an edge over the other people, sure. I'm not getting good, as you can see by me getting my butt handed to me like every other episode. But, obviously, it's all like I use the big powerful stuff so that way it, you know, it helps. It helps. Soul of a Proud Knight. And what do we have here? Um, Cap Redemon. If you guys remember, this guy was actually a boss for um, the suit in the sewers. Or to get into the sewers. Now, he's a little bitch. And I kicked the crap out of him. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna send him to hell. Look at that nice lava world. I do like lava. Like, lava worlds are always my favorite. Like, anytime you put me up in, like, fire and lava, it's just like, mmm, gorgeous worlds. Oh, yeah, and here we have two Capra Demons side by side. Oh! And an invader. You, game. You. Where does he come from? Oh, yeah, this way. Okay. Hey. I would appreciate if you didn't, um... Hey, I got it, buddy. Oh, no! Really, game? Really? I'm not happy. I am not happy. All right, but I think you're able to like get it up further if we just if we quit and reload the game. It might reset that thing. It might uh, reset it so that way it's actually up on the um, what you might call it, the pathway. Um. Nope, looks like I just don't get it. That's just... Great, that's what I was sitting there thinking. It's like, man, I'd really like if I didn't get to, you know, claim the super awesome whatever he dropped. Maybe it's more up here. Maybe it's where he was, like, summoned into, perhaps. I don't know, where did he summon from? Oh, already in the depths of hell. How much more further can I get? Ooh, what's this? Is this it? No. What is this? Why is there little glowy bits? There's little glowy bits on the floor. Alright. Well, guess that's the end of that. So, uh, let's, okay, let's keep moving on. At least that's one thing. If you quit and, like, reload an area, at least it doesn't respawn all the enemies. Because that would just suck. Now we're going to go back down here. Like I said, we got the dual cap for demons. Hey. Hey, get over here. Will you stop... Will you stop looking at me and just, like, come get some? You know what? Fine. This is what you want. This is what you get. Did I miss? Oh, there we go. Oh, you're too far. There you go. Hey, buddy. Whoop. There you go. Now you're just getting sliced and diced. Whoop. These are cool looking demons, though. I love them. Like, the fact that they're just, like, muscular men with, like, goat head things. Oh, now there's three of them. Come on. Over here, buddy. Uh-huh. Whoop. There you go. 
How about you play with the belief that you're actually able to harm me? There you go. No, second one's not coming. Hey, look at that. They just stand there and watch me. They're all like, um... Okay, I guess I'm going next. Yeah, take the shield, and I'm going to do some weird 50 things. Wah! Wah! Yep! There we go. Alright, buddy, you're last. Ow. Well, at least it would be an ow if it wasn't for the fact my shield's not easy! Ha 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 ha! Alrighty. Over here, there's nothing. Nope. Ah, oh, I love Dark Souls. Such gorgeous beauty everywhere. And there's these things, they're annoying, they breathe fire, yeah. And they're just weird looking, that's it, they just kind of like float and breathe fire, yeah. Soul of a Proud Knight. Okay, I know I'm going to need this. Because we have these weird, stupid worm things that come out. And they're stupid and weird. And the best way of defeating them, ow, is magic. Yeah! Definitely works better if you're a sorcerer. There you go. See, he's guarding a bonfire. Like a dick. Like, that's my bonfire. Go away. Alrighty. Let's get some rest on. There we go. Let's get into this bonfire. Alright, there's one. Alright, we need to use some more, uh, whatchamacallits. Humanities. This item. Oh, I forget. Six and one at a frickin' time. There we go. And two. There we go. Now we can do that. Obviously, the more HP you want, the I mean, the more blech, words, the more HP that you, the more healing you have, the better. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. Our fire is maxed. There we go. We're nicely healed. So now we can head down into that area. There we go, kill this thing. Then head down here, kill these things. See, they're not tough, they're just kinda like annoying because like they quietly just like sneak up behind you and then breathe fire at you. They're only annoying though if like you're battling something else. As you can see, not much of a problem. Oh, and then another Tauros demon. Hey, Tauros demon. Yeah. How about you enjoy some of my blades? Oh, that worm there is the biggest dick in the entire game. Like, like seriously, he is. You can't approach him because then he shoots stupid. I mean, he shoots stuff at you. Then he also um. And then he also, like, bites you if you get close to try to hit him with melee. Most of these worms are dicks. Let's just put it that way. If there's worms, they're probably dicks. Hey, uh, Slash is not too bad. Fantastic. Yeah, so this is a nice little sideway here. This, I believe, gets us an ember, if I'm correct. Yeah, you just want to go to the nice little side. Defeat all these guys. You know, for the fact that they're like called Tauros demons, I am surprised they don't have hoops. Like, you know, like Minotaurs, I guess. Oh man, this passageway looks non harmful. Oh, and then there's these guys. And guess what? They're also dicks. So, time to fire them up. Ah, scratch his eye. Ooh, green titan night chart. Very nice. Yeah, these guys just kind of like pop out everywhere. See, and there's the chest. Oh! See, this is what I mean. They're behind me, too. 
Ow! Can you stop eating me? Okay, that's enough. Put me down. Ugh. Screw you, stupid worm enemies. Here, let's switch to a better fireball. There. There we go. Why are you looking at this? Four of them, all at the same time. That's ridiculous. Yeah! Fireballs! Fireballs! The thing I do like about the Chaos Fireballs, they leave that little bit of lava, so they do take an extra bit of damage. Alright, chest. Uh, check the chain. The chain is... Where's the chain? Oh, ooh, chain is hidden. So, what you do... Bonk! Give it a bonk. If it doesn't seem to get pissed off by your bonk, it's a normal... Um, it's a normal chest. And look at that. Large flame ender. In case you want to make a fire weapon. You know, some people want to make fire weapons. I, I love the idea of builds. Especially in Dark Souls, because it's all like, you know, you can make yourself have like a flame build. So that way your character's like a true pyromancer. The problem is that when you're in areas like this that are specifically um, fire areas, not super useful. That's why you definitely want a secondary element. See, he vomits. Oh, stupid son of a... And it's acid, too. So now, if you notice, my magic's doing jack crap. I hate you so for getting that. Then if you approach... There we go. Come on. Chicky poo up. There we go. At least this weapon's not broken. Okay. Oh, these things are coming at me. Ow. There we go. Boop, boop. All right. Oh, there's Capra Demon over here. I don't remember you. I'm gonna take his work today. There we go. Now get over here. Come on. Yeah! See, the thing I like about Dark Souls 1 the most is how fast the shield activates. Like, when you put up the shield, the shield gets there pretty quick. Dark Souls 2 and 3, they're just like, you hit the shield button, they're like, oh, oh you, you want me to, you want me to do, oh, 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 shield up? Oh, there we go. It's all like, great, I've just been murdered by literally everything while waiting for you to put your stupid shield up. Thanks for having no response time. Like I said, games would be actually a whole lot better if they actually were timed to your own reactions. Can you imagine how much more fun and fast-paced games would be if they're timed to your own reactions? I'm just saying that they'd be fan freaking tested. All right, what's this say? Beware of fire. Ah, sure, why not? Anyways, that's actually all we got time for. We went a little bit over just so I could explore the whole area. Anyways, make sure to subscribe because we're going to be playing this again. Until then, have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye!